Right now, we are excited to welcome to the show Austin Price from VolQuest.com, covering Tennessee football and Tennessee football recruiting. He has been a traveling man as well with a conversation recently with David Sanders, top offensive tackle in the country. Austin, thanks for taking time to join us. All guests join us on the Stanley Fencing and Gates Hotline. What can you tell us about David Sanders, both the prospect, uh, why he's rated so high, and where things stand with Tennessee in its recruitment of David Sanders? Well, incredibly long, um, you know, had, had Josh, and, you know, again, he is, the best thing about him, both he and his teammate, Leo Delaney, who's one of the top linemen for 2006, is, uh, you know, that they're just really, really, really smart. And, you know, they're also really, really, you know, kind of, I would say, I won't say thin, but they're like lean. Like, they're not sloppy at all, and I think that goes a long way to their success. Tennessee, deep in with David Sanders. How much do you think the George McIntyre relationship is a factor? You got, you talked to him, talked to David about George in the conversation and their friendship that's not all football-related, but can you tell how much of a factor McIntyre, a quarterback being committed to Tennessee, might influence David's ultimate choice? You know, I think that it matters. You know, they are really, really, uh, you know, tied in with one another. Um, they talk a lot. You know, David Sanders talked about me. The fact that, you know, for, you know, like the last six months or so, those guys have been really, really, really tight. And, you know, they have, you know, become really good friends. And it, it goes a long way to, you know, building a bond in the recruiting process and they play, you know, a lot of video games together and do a lot of chatting and, you know, they've been on several college visits together and uh, it's been interesting. George McIntyre has been a guy that a lot of players bring up, you know, David Sanders is an offensive tackle and that's normal, right? I mean, quarterback's going to want somebody to protect him. George McIntyre came up when we met with Jordan Young today, you know, I mean, you know, he's a safety from Monroe, uh, one of the top athletes in the class of 2025 um, you know, that's a Clemson, Florida State, Tennessee, Alabama, all those schools are right in the mix for Jordan Young. And Jordan Young brought, you know, George McIntyre up to Matt Ray and said, you know, like, you know, that's my guy. When I come up in March, I hope he's there and, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, I mean, George is, you know, casting a wide net. It's not just receivers and offensive linemen that he's, that he's recruiting. He's recruiting defensive guys, you name it, he's involved. How would you compare – how so many p people around the program, not just his position coach or uh, potential head coaches recruiting him and talking to him, hearing your interview with David Sanders, he mentioned a lot of people from Tennessee's on-field staff, yeah, off-field staff, reaching out, him talking to them and having communication with them and a relationship with them. Yeah, I mean, the Tennessee staff's done a really good job of that, and he talked about that, that being a strength of the staff is how they, they – they tandem recruit. It's not just, you know, Glenn Ellerby and Josh Heupel being an offensive lineman. It's the assistant O-line coaches and Kevin Pendleton and Micah. And it's, it's Kelsey Pope. It's Joey Halsley. It's, you know, I mean, it's literally everybody inside the program. And so, I mean, they've done a really nice job of kind of building a relationship with not only David, but David's family. And, and David's family, both his mom, his dad, his grandparents, you know, they'll all be involved in this decision. The kid – is uh, super infectious, got a great personality. And, uh, you know, interviewing him, you know, yesterday over at Providence Today, I walked out of there and, I mean, it's like talking to a 30-year-old. I mean, like, he's so mature. And, and, again, like, everybody on campus, you know, was coming up to him, not because he's some hotshot football player, but just because he, he walks around with a big smile on his face. He's got an inviting personality. And, you know, he's someone that uh, people like being around. We're talking to Austin Price from VolQuest. You mentioned Jordan Young from Monroe, North Carolina. What can you tell us about him uh, and his connection with Tennessee? And Tim Banks has done a really nice job with Jordan Young. Um, you know, in fact, uh, when we were there today, Tim Banks was on the phone with Jordan Young. And uh, I thought that was interesting. Just what are the odds, you know, like we're stopping by school and, you know, Tennessee's, you know, doing a bunch of recruiting calls this morning and they're on the phone with Jordan. And, you know, I mean, it's clear that uh, – you know, Tennessee is a factor there. That, of course, for people that don't know, Jordan Young is related to former Vol Byron Young. You know, I wouldn't call them best friends or anything, but they're cousins, and, you know, they occasionally do chat. But, 
you know, Tennessee, someone that, you know, is obviously going to be a factor for, you know, you know, for Jordan Young probably throughout the entirety of the process. There's been talk about the spring game, whether it's going to happen uh, or, or not. I know a lot of recruits are talking about meeting up at the spring game. What's kind of the latest there on a big event for, for Tennessee fans? Well, we'll see. Um, you know, we'll see. I don't think that anything's set in stone right now, Jason, uh, uh, pertaining to the orange and white game. Uh, obviously, they're doing the construction of Neyland Stadium. Um, you know, so we'll see what they elect to, uh, you know, announce and decide to do. Two years ago, there wasn't a spring game under construction that was going on at Neyland Stadium. Tennessee kind of had a big recruiting weekend and a scrimmage on the practice field. Um, you know, is that something similar they do this year? Do they find a way to do it at the stadium and just – you know, limit the fans. Um, you know, I, I know that's not what they want to do, but, you know, as they try to upgrade the south end of Neyland Stadium, as they, just like when they tried to upgrade the, the stadium a couple of years ago, you know, sacrifices have to be made to be able to get, uh, you know, the the proper improvements done on time for that 2024 kickoff. So, um, again, I don't think anything's been set in stone, so we'll see what uh, the university decides pertaining to the Orange and White game. Austin Price with us. Do you hear anything about the renovations, uh, status, progress, Neyland Stadium? Baseball has been a project with that season, of course, coming up here very soon. Yeah, uh, you know, just, just you know, on time. I, I know baseball kind of took a little bit of a hit when we had the snow and ice there for, you know, two weeks but uh i think that you know that they were you know trying to push ahead and get all that you know get the phase done before the season that was supposed to be done uh for the uh, home opener here in a few weeks but uh as far as kneeling uh everything should be go and uh, they'll continue to uh try to upgrade the experience they did that a year ago big time with the wi-fi and obviously they added the party deck a couple of years ago and so you know it, it should be uh just continued further improvements under uh, danny white Austin, uh, back to recruiting. Anything else stand out among some of Tennessee's top targets, either from guys coming in or just what you've heard in conversations with other players that Tennessee is focusing on in the early stages of the 25 recruiting cycle? Well, yeah, Tennessee continues to be in really good shape with, with Joe Kim Dodson, the uh, wide receiver from Collierville out in Memphis. Uh, he will an- announce his decision coming up on Saturday. Um, and, you know, as far as, you know, kids that we've seen over here, uh, Tennessee has, has been a popular team amongst these kids from North Carolina. Um, several of the better players uh, for the 2025 and 2026 classes. Um, Tennessee had a really successful junior day this past Saturday with, uh, you know, Jalen Matthews, offensive lineman from New Jersey um, in, in town. They did a really nice job with Ethan Utley, defensive lineman from Innsworth. So uh, Tennessee continues to have uh, recruiting success, and uh, you know this 25 class has a chance. You know, again, you got to continue to to build on it, but it has a chance to be uh, pretty salty with uh, you know George McIntyre and you know several of the, several of these in-state players like Ethan Utley, Rodarius Jackson, Cam Sparks, uh, Joe Kim Dodson, and then you start building out around it with you know potentially who knows down the line can they land David Sanders? Can they land? Juan Gaston, can they land Jordan Young or some of these other players that are highly sought after in that 2025 class? Quick, quickly, uh, AP, I know you were involved here locally with high school football, and you know it's a signing day. A lot of people get caught up in who's signing with Tennessee, but there's a lot of players here who are signing to go play uh, college football uh, that may not get a lot of attention. Anyone stands out um, that you would love to mention getting a scholarship and signing today? No, I mean, <laughs> to be honest with you, Jason, like I honestly haven't paid a whole lot of attention to the uh, to the kids that aren't going to Tennessee just because that, that used to be in my kind of wheelhouse, but anymore with like the second signing, with, with the early signing, the, yeah. the addition of the early signing, day, the second signing day just doesn't have as much zap to it. So like, you know, it, and let, until it was mentioned like the last two days, I didn't even think about it really being <laughs> signing day. <laughs> like, yep. I mean, you've got several guys that are, Having a chance. The one kid I would tell you is C.J. Smith from West. Um, you know, going to Chattanooga today, um, I, I thought was a really nice get for the mocks because I think C.J. Smith, former uh, former uh, son of former of all uh, Chavis Smith, um, you know, a really good player, really great career, two-time state champ at West. Um, 
uh, I think a great addition for them. You know, I think he'll continue to get better and better, and he has a tremendous work ethic. Uh, as far as Tennessee, you know, they get the Harmon kid from Catholic. They get, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, you know the, the other kid from West. Um, you know, and, and you know, I, I think when you look at kind of where they are, you know, just adding nice pieces, uh, you know, to the to the rosters and, and a nice get for Tennessee uh, on a day like today. Even on a day they don't really sign anybody, but they they get a couple of nice preferred walk-ons. Hey, Austin, what can people check out at VolQuest? I imagine that conversation begins with your conversation with David Sanders. That's right. I mean, we're, we're, we're kind of all over the Tar Hill State, seeing a lot of great 25s and 26s. Currently, we're setting outside of Reedsville Senior High School in Rockingham County, which means we're right around, uh, right around the uh, corner from uh, a place you used to talk about on the lead lap there, Josh Ward. And, uh, you know, so it, it, just kind of seeing all kinds of different players. We're about to see, um, you know, Kendra Harrison, one of the top athletes. And in fact, I think he's ranked number one, the number one athlete in 2026. Uh, he's a tight end, six foot six, and uh, he is a player. Man, the, the good old days of the live lead lap, uh, Little J and crew, uh, as uh, Sam and Chris have kept that going in the podcast forum for us. VolQuest.com to go back and uh, check out the conversation with David Sanders and the latest with on to 2025 recruiting. That's the focus today in the second signing period for 2024. Austin, safe travels out there on the recruiting trail. We appreciate you, and we'll talk to you again soon. Appreciate you guys. Thank you.